Let's do some experiment with uh, an egg. It's a hen's egg. It's just uh, it's got new well, it's got positive buoyancy, uh, but mainly it's filled with water to achieve um, a sort of equilibrium. But if it wasn't in the vortex, it would be floating about. I suppose half an inch of the egg would be sticking out. And so it's been in this uh, vortex for a while, and right now I've tuned flows, so it's got an equilibrium. And what interests me at present is that the air core vortex is coming from the bottom up. Obviously the, the bit that intrigues me, well it's not so obvious I know, but is that the, the egg's not powered. I mean, it's just spinning in the vortex, so it's not driving, it's being driven, and yet it still draws up from the bottom the air core, which you can see. It's uh, popping on and off. There it goes. And sometimes it can go up, uh, depending on circumstances, four or five inches up the vortex. And uh, sometimes it comes down to the bottom like this, and it'll wobble eccentrically and then move back up. And as it goes back up, maybe up to, well, yeah, about there, it'll pull the air, the air core with it. So right now, that's what it's doing, just sitting there happily, quite stable, spinning. There's nothing at all magical about this. This is just... Uh, well, it's anti-clockwise spin at the top, and that's achieved by five points of injection from one tube to the tap. And the, all the rest of this gubbins is just to drain the water away, and that sort of a thing is just a jam pourer. And uh, there it is, just mounted on my wall outside my house, or part of my house. That's my garden. That's my cat. That's the rest of the house. A rather nice tree here, very striking tree, beautiful colour. And there it is. And I showed you all that because people have been asking for a bit more perspective on what the rig is.